Hi guys, I'm Chormi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you how to make the beat for Meltdown by Travis Scott and Drake. This beat was made by Bywanda, Vinyl, Stakey, Benny X and Coleman. So let's begin with the breakdown. First thing, I use the BBC Symphony Orchestra from Spitfire to recreate the first melody. For the top melody, I use the Violin 1 string from BBC and they're just playing this really simple melody. We are in the G minor scale, so the first chord, the tonic chord, is G minor. They're playing the fifth at the bottom, at the start of every bar. And then they're using the third and the suspended two to create this tension. As you can see, they're always starting on the first beat, except for the last bar, where they're also using the root note as a passing note to the suspended two. Then for the chords, I use some layers from the BBC and the Omnisphere. On BBC, I have these strings, Sally, then I have the basses, and then on Omnisphere, I have this preset. For the chords, they're just playing the first chord of the scale, so the tonic chord, and then at the end, on the last bar, we have the sixth chord of the scale scale. In the background we have a white noise riser and downfall accentuating the tension. This is just a white noise with a filter moving from the lows to the highs. And as you can see I used some automation clips with the tremulator from some toys to create that stuttering feeling in the riser. I also have an automation clip for the octave down effect on the melody. And then we have the drums, a simple snare on the third beat, simple two step hi hats. Open hat on the first beat. I think they layered this one with a triangle maybe. Then we have a vox sample on the second bit. Some more open heads. The kick, a really simple pattern. And then the other way, just playing the root note of the first chord. At the end we also have the fifth. As you can hear the G is a really low note for this 808 sample so you can't really hear it through the mix. Same thing with the original song. They're also using another sample as a counter 808. In this case I use the classic spins with a lot of EQ. This is the final result for the first part. At the end we have a really simple variation, we have these stomp samples coming in, along with these other snares, and then we have this really cool resonance bass, sliding from one note to another. But as you can see they're always playing around the fifth and the root note of the first chord. I use this sample but you can easily recreate this bass using some saw waves and a filter with a lot of resonance moving. Then for the switch up we have this transition where they're using this really cool synth bass. I use Serum to recreate a similar patch. We have a sub sine wave, then we have a square minus two octaves, a sub wave minus one. I'm using unison and detune to create a larger feeling on the bass. And then I'm also using chorus, distortion and a little bit of flanger for the movement. I also applied this preset from Thermal. With this bass, they are just playing the notes of the second and the first chord of the scale. As you can see, we have the diminished chord, that is the second chord of the scale. And then for the first chord, we have an inversion of the fifth. 
Then I layered this base with a coil from Omnisphere. And then for the drums we have the kick following the bass hits, the stomp with the 8 step pattern and at the end we have some triplets for the snares. We also have this vocal sample with a lot of delay and these hi-hat rolls. For the switch up we have some brasses coming in, I'm using some presets from Xenology and from the BBC orchestra. And they are switching from the classic minor scale to the Phrygian. As you can see, they are bringing in this chord from the Phrygian scale, the G sharp major. They are using the same drums but a different pattern for the 808. As you can see, they are using the root note of the second chord of the scale. Then we have some more open nets coming in. And then we have the second part, where they are switching the entire beat. They are going from 112 BPM to 160.6, and they are also switching the scale. They are going from the G minor to the A minor. I had a really hard time recreating this synth loop for the second part. This is really difficult, quite impossible, I think. But I think that it's more simple than it seems. They are probably using just one synth with a lot of delay, maybe a crystallizer from some toys, or maybe just a reverse effect. And I think that they are playing with the suspended notes in the background, maybe with an arpeggio to create that dark ambience in the background of the loop and then they're playing the main melody composed by the fifth, the augmented fifth and the root note of the first chord. So they're just playing around the first chord that is A minor. So as you can see this is my main melody and then in the background I'm playing with the suspended four and also with the suspended two and the root note to create all the ambience using some other layers. I have four different layers from Omnisphere, Repro and Analog Lab. So this is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. And then this is the last one. For the effects, apply the chorus, crystallizer, fab filter, more the melodies, delay, fresh air, <laughs> pub filter, EQ again, and then a sound shifter for the octave. This is the final melody. Then we have some effects introducing the melody. The piano just playing the root note, the suspended two and the third. And then the drums, classic snare on the third beat, classic two step hi hats, and then the kick and the 808. For the 808, we have two different patterns. The first one just playing the root note, and then the second one also playing the second note of the scale, always recalling that Phrygian scale. We also have some strings, creating tension in this part. And then we have an acoustic guitar for the ending. And they're just playing a 1, 2, 3, 4 progression in the Phrygian scale. In the background you can also hear some choir. That's all for this video, smash a like and subscribe if you liked it. I will leave all my links in the description if you want to support me. I have a Patreon page where I upload all the FLPs from my remakes. Instagram if you want to follow me and Beatsource if you want to check out my beats or drum kits. Bye and see you in the next video.